what fascinates me about he ha always has to talk about other racisms he's come on a bit actually because for a while he would say there's no racism in the Labour Party and actually couldn't say anti-Semitism he couldn't say the word I'm a student of his facial movements and when he said that when it was due for him to say anti-Semitism he turned his face away he had the same trouble with the word Israel which he wouldn't say physically it's, turned his face physically away. turned his face away from the camera he just couldn't as if the, the idea made him ill and the idea made him ill because he belongs to that ideology which thinks anti Anti-Semitism only exists in the minds of Zionist Jews who want to deflect the conversation. That's been the problem with you, Corbyn you all along. You believe he, to his bones, that's how he sees to it. To his bones, that's how he sees it. Now, if he's changing, won't that be wonderful? But for him to change, it's going to be remarkable because he'd been pickled in an ideology for over half a century. He takes pride in the fact that he's never changed his mind. People think that's wonderful. He's thought this all along. I'm terrified by people who don't change their minds. To have a lively, open mind means you think, I thought wrong in those days he's been or I stuck knew less. I, well exactly and other people have started to tell me things to wake me up his pride in having always thought the same thing since whenever it was is something I'm not sure he should be so proud about but if he's now able to say anti-semitism here is a start so we will wait and see but he's but he's never convinced me that he actually gets what it is you know how often he's found himself in 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 groups in Facebook groups or he looked at that mural and he seems to have been he seems to get on very well with anti-Semites. He seems to enjoy the company of anti-Semites. And he always says, oh, I didn't know that's what they were. And that's been his excuse a thousand times. I didn't know that's what... He has what I call it the inadvertence, inadvertency defence. I didn't notice it. He didn't notice that a mural that could have come out of Nazi Germany, actually. Though if he is an anti-Semite, or put, let me put it this way, the anti-Semitism the anti over which he presides, and I believe condones, is not of the German sort. Well, but if he, but if, but if, but if he didn't see that that particular famous mural now, in which you know, in which Jews depicted as they were in in, in Nazi Germany, looking all with hooked noses, all looking like their Rothschild, money, running yeah. everything, under and he supported he supported that until he until he saw. How could he have done? A child of three would have seen what that picture was about. There's a lot of explaining has to be done, and none of it has been done. But I'll tell you something. It's a sign of progress that he can say anti-Semitism. If you could sit down with him, what would you say? I'd say you need re-educating, Mr Corbyn. You need, the left has always believed in re-educating its own members to its own position. I'd say you need re-educating in positions not your own. You need to open your mind to people who think absolutely differently from you. That the assumptions which have settled on you about Israel in particular, but about Jews and about finance and about anti-Semitism and about who the Jews are and about what they mean when they speak and about the sincerity of Jews. If all this is so inimical and foreign and frightful to you that you can't even say the words half the time time you need a re-educate the whole party needs a re-education